this last week I've been emotional because this was the last place my husband was and my son. So I've done a lot of crying. And it is an emotional evening for some residents in Clearwater. They're being evicted from their homes. News Channel 8's Evan Donovan joins us right now live from the Southern Comfort Mobile Home Park. Evan. Yeah, good evening. For some people who live here, they say they've been dealing with these water quality issues at this park for years. So while they may not love it, it's still home. And finding a new one hasn't been easy. Come on in. This is the end. Grace Fulford has called this place home for 14 years. And there's the horrible bathroom that's got water leaks. I've had to live off a hose. She says the water issues were nearly unbearable. Sometimes the water would smell so bad, like sewage, I could keep the lid down, the bathroom door shut, and it smells through the whole house. But despite that, she was hoping to stay a little longer. Her grandson is a junior in high school, and she doesn't want him going to a new school. Uh, I'm glad to get out of here. I am. But, you know, it wasn't my timing, <laughs> okay? I'm not ready to go buy a property today, so, you know, I was sort of thinking in two years when he graduates, then I'll leave here. She got a little money from a Florida relocation fund. $2,750. But she says nothing for the house itself. You're losing that money? I don't get anything. Of course, it's not the house that makes it a home. It's the last place both her husband and son lived. It's been emotional for me because my husband died a year and a half ago and my son died six months ago. I got that letter two days after he died. Her stuff is in boxes, memories packed away. The final remnants of home. Tomorrow it won't be, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to a new start. Grace says she found a place in Pasco County just four days ago. She feels worse for some of her neighbors who haven't found a place yet, many of them who don't speak very good English. And Evan, I understand there was a hearing yesterday in the lawsuit filed by two families against the park's owner. It was over the water quality. What's the status of that case at this point? That's right, Jen. I spoke with the attorney for the families who have filed that lawsuit. I should point out that has nothing to do with them leaving here today. That was always going to happen. The judge in that suit just denied a motion from the mobile home park's owner to dismiss it yesterday, which means it will continue into the discovery phase, gathering evidence and moving towards a possible trial. Jen? Evan Donovan, live for us in Clearwater tonight. Thank you, Evan.